it happened again guys, it happened again. I never thought that I would be making this video, but sometimes the Abzalians in society must reveal themselves in order to highlight injustices that occur in our everyday lives. What happened may have been one of the most awful <coughs> things that have happened in the history of happenings. As soon as I witnessed this hate crime, I knew that the police and secret service will be trying to find this man. Suddenly, earthquakes across the globe were starting and stars exploded once this misdemeanor had been acted. But it was a scenic Wednesday morning. I had just finished my physics lesson from college and was strolling back to a bus stop where I could take a bus home. However, what occurred next may have changed the course of my future. My day to that point was great, and was enjoying the thought of going back home so that I can relax. However, in order to access the path towards the bus stop, I had to turn left. So as I was walking, I was changing the position of my center of mass so that I am able to turn left. But using my peripheral vision, I saw that someone else was also walking, but in the opposite direction to where I was going. They were coming from the left side while I was trying to go to that very left side. However, if we both continued on the same angles that we were travelling at, we would directly collide, causing damage to both of us. Yet I didn't move. I still continued, trying to stay on the left side of the path while he was on the right side of that path I was trying to go to. But I saw something strange. This schmuck is trying to do the same thing as me. I didn't care. I was not going to move. It goes back to that old saying, those who move, I do not approve. So I marched onwards, knowing that if I had to, I would walk straight into him. But as we were about to collide, we both stopped. It wasn't worth it. I shouldn't be doing this. I should probably just move so that we could continue going on our merry way. Wrong. I stayed rooted to my position like a brick wall. I wasn't going to move. He knew he was fighting losing battle. So do you know what he did? Now, up until this point, I did not think that it was a big deal. You know, like, these things happen. There are a lot of people in this college. This probably happens, like, multiple times each day. But that's not why I am angry. Instead of just moving out of the way like a normal person, this guy does something different. Instead, he rotates himself like a pivot around 20 degrees and then continues walking. It was like looking at my past, seeing that other person who did something very similar in a very similar situation. As he walks off, after rotating himself, I look back. Frightened, confused, disorientated, but he walked on, not phased at all, as if this is his normal reaction to almost everything. I mean, to be fair, like, looking back, I could've just, like, moved out of the way. Like, instead of walking straight into him, I could've just, like, gone round him. But that's not the point! He shouldn't be doing that! Anyways, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you enjoyed, but I'll see you next time.